High Grade Gundam Age 3 Orbital. Hey, what's up again, everybody? Robert, one d 4 2 rs 2 bs GundamReviews.net, and if you've checked out the earlier parts of this High Grade Age 3 Orbital, you may have noticed that I'm a little bit starstruck so far. But anyway, let's take a look after seeing the MS last part at the transformation and seeing if I'm going to be a little less struck. And this is going to start with detaching the limbs as you take it out of this kind of cool pose. And once you get all of those off, you can get the chest part off, and that is going to be used in an all-important replacement part. As with the legs in a more normal position here, you can take the waist skirt, flip that down, and then you're going to have this attachment point with its nice cool green part there that's nicely provided on the A-plate. You could chop off a little bit of silver if you wanted to, the way that I did with the core fighter, and I'm sure other people have a better system. And you could have a little bit more reflection there, and you can just attach this on. The PC2 underneath is not going to impede. Then it's time for a little bit of alley-oomph here, as you're going to kick the legs up and then bend them back at the knees. When you do that, you want to make sure that you're actually going to get the gray part to go down and flat. You can imagine that this is going to make it look a little bit more like a futuristic space airplane that's definitely not a Gundam's legs just bent over. And you'd think with the arms there might be something funky that you have to do with the transformation. We've done all sorts of things like moving the cuffs around on some of the previous age kits, but no, the only thing they're telling you to do is to uh, twist the hand off to the side, and then all you have to do is bend it up and you're going to get that nice 180 there, revealing some of the elbow, and this is still going to keep all the thrusters thrusting in the right direction. But that is all there is to it. You're just going to attach them on and have the hands there looking a little bit awkward as this guy, the VG Viper, is ready to, uh, well, punch the future, I suppose. Last part of the transformation is to take the Sigmasis rifle, which you can attach on when it's in MS mode. You can take that part, bend that down, and then plug it in to the top. And when all is said and done, besides the fact that you're going to have the action base sticking up a little bit awkwardly there, you can fix that by attaching the core fighter on. I'd like to sell you on this kit, and by telling you that the MS mode is fantastic, but I can't not come even close to saying the same about the transformation. Uh, the bent back toes is going to help a little bit there. Here you're going to see those gray seals even more. The yellow on the thrusters that are often hidden, well, if you're just going to have a boring pose with them just pointing down, that's going to be helped by the fact that you're going to see a lot more yellow and the fact that they're protruding there, so you get to see it from the side. And on the side skirts, all the yellow at the bottom is going to pay off. But really, what else can you say besides the fact that you've got the legs bent at a 90 degree there, the elbows are bent up, and outside of the fact that you're going to have that clear green part for the cockpit there, I can't really say that this is looking pretty cool, but what do you think? If you saw the review of the normal though, you've seen that the core fighter though is a pretty cool thing here. Just in terms of moving the thrusters down, you're able to take these and move those around, although that doesn't really change all that much, it, just in terms of the aesthetics here. But you're going to have this blue part down here that you can take, and unlike a lot of Gundams where, yes, this one is just going to be awkwardly bent over with his arms and legs bent there, but with this one, they do at least have the plus of hiding the head, which a lot of Gundams have not learned. You can take this impressive looking chest part there, lots of colors in there, not to mention the seals. Move that down, you can take the head, plug this in here, and you are going to have the V-fin sticking out, but you can cover it up here with this part, or you can cover up the face at least, just revealing the V-fin, which is nowhere near as awkward as somebody just flying over and say, hello, I'm a Gundam. And yes, I'd say the two of them attach together, and in terms of attachment points, this one has three options there, the way you attach the gray part on. This one, only two, but you're going to see a lot of nice colors in the blue, for whatever reason, just seems to help this guy look a little bit better, but at the end of the day, the Viper, a little on the so-so side. And for a rotating comparison, here it is, next to the high-grade Clanch, and uh, this one is definitely not one that's just going to look like a bent-over Gundam. He at least has a few more details built in, plus the added bonus that you are going to be getting an action base with both, and you got to love the fact that you're going to get the landing gear there. It's going to help keep it flat on the ground, no option whatsoever with this, although again, with the action base included, it's not such an issue. Both of them are going to have smooth legs, and they're both going to have the toes going back. Both hide the face, I'd say that the H3 does it better, but the arms and the thrusters, overall I'd just say that the clanch is going to look a little bit more like a futuristic spacecraft, and not so much, just somebody planking in space. That'll wrap up my look at the transformation, and don't forget to stick around for the verdict where I'll talk about all the good and the bad parts of both this and of course the MS mode, comparing it to the advanced grade, 
and a whole bunch of others. Anyway, everybody, why don't you let me know what you think of this transformation? How does it stack up compared to some of the other ones in the Gundam universe and especially in Gundam Age? And as always, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. You know, it's sort of weird because two HG clanches were bought, not just for the more factor, but I suppose because Derek and Jonathan are going to look good, but that does allow one to be shown off in MS and one to be shown off transformed, and yet I wonder if there's anybody who rushed out to buy a second HG H3 orbital to show it off in both modes. Yeah.